Growing up, I was always told to find what I was passionate about and go after it. And for me, that was easy because I have no true passion in life, except for one thing, and that's spending my dad's money. The most important thing, when people ask you what you actually do for a living, you must be extremely vague. Stocks, brand consulting, startups, sales, and something that doesn't exist. You're gonna learn the three-step process. Think of it like money laundering. Your daddy hits you with the direct deposit. You then say, it came from a vague solo business venture that makes no sense. Real estate or poker. Boom. People think you actually earned that money and they respect it. It has not been easy for me. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. That's another thing, working hard. You need to make it very clear on Instagram that you are hashtag team no days off. Otherwise, are gonna to begin to catch on to the fact that you contribute absolutely nothing to society. It's not a bender in Vegas with the boys, it is a meeting with potential clients. Clients for what? Investments. When flexing your possessions on Instagram, you cannot get too flashy with the pose. Growing up, we were taught that this was cool. It's not. A mature, bold pose screams, I earned this. My father definitely didn't purchase this for me. You wanna be purchasing tables at clubs, drugs and friends. They say you can't put a price on love. My girlfriend disagrees. Hang on, my dad's calling. Hey dad. That's a joke, we have not spoken in years. If people do in fact get word that you have a trust fund, your response is simple. I haven't touched any of it. I haven't touched any of it. See, that hand gesture took me years to develop and it will get you a lot further than you think. Keep it cool. You haven't touched any of it. There's gonna be times where you wonder, where do I go from here? I haven't had a meaningful conversation in years. I need therapy. I am so lonely. I am more hollow than the tree the Rice Krispies elves live in. If the world of it all seems too big and scary and overwhelming, that's great. You wake up in the morning, you get to bottomless mimosas and rail some sugar, sugar in the bathroom with your friends, and you continue to urinate away your father's hard-earned dough. I'm Ryan Pecker, and this is my masterclass.